Anyway, let's go ahead and look at this video from Savix. Here we go. Well-deserved bans. There's a small man named Corcon HC, and his little circle jerk minions have been spreading misinformation about the hardcore community. I think it's about that time where we pull out the good old candlestick. It's time you get a nice ass whooping. Never heard about this doofus until two days ago. He claims himself to be a vigilante, Robin Hood, doing good, taking out the evil streamers, and making a fool out of them. Little do his viewers know that this nut job goes off killing random players when his favorite streamer is not on. And now you might be wondering, how did I run into this massive scrotum licking insect? Well, <laughs> hardcore World of Warcraft, where death equals delete. I've been yeah, of course that's where people are going to go because that's where they can actually uh, that's where they can fuck with somebody on the highest level. They can waste the most amount of their time. Join this content for about four months now. I'm also playing right now as we speak and last month it exploded leading into many streamers mm -hmm. joining such as Zaryu, Soda Poppin, Asmongold, many more. Summit was also playing. I thought it was awesome to see a big FPS gamer trying our game. Summit's a WoW player, too. Summit's known for FPS, but he's a big WoW OG as well. So later that night, I threw him a host, grabbed my popcorn to enjoy his journey. However, it didn't last too long due yep. to some asshole constantly harassing him. Going forward the next day, I was streaming, I had a few people coming in my chat saying uh -huh. if I saw the Miss Jones death. So I went ahead and checked it out. Okay. Only to see the same griefer getting him killed over and over again. Yep, oh, I'm, no. dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm getting. I'm. I'm dead. I'm getting griefed. Non-stop getting griefed. This yep. is just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I'm dead. Maybe not. Maybe. No, I'm dead. Ooh. I can't play the fucking game, dude. I can't play the fucking game. To be honest with you, I personally haven't had this much grief outside of my rank 14 streams back in Classic Relaunch. Another bottom feeder that goes by the name of Venom. Kept sniping me, so I took one day off stream. Oh, I remember and, that guy. And I butchered him, leaving him in the soils of Ungoro Crater. <laughs> and also this loser who now. Oh God, it's Unbind. Oh my God, you guys remember Unbind? This was my boy. Trembles whenever he hears my name. You fucking Savix. Fuck that shit. Fuck you. Anyways, I know how much it sucks to get griefed constantly, so I went ahead and reported these two clowns. In this clip, I specifically wrote down only two names. Remember that. Okay, so I sent this earlier because this guy's harassing Mitch all day. Mm -hmm. And they actually replied saying, Hey, thanks for sharing the clip to me. Do you have their account name? Server info. Names are Crazy Hobo and Zerva on Blood Sale uh -oh. Book Aneers. Uh oh. <laughs> era server a few days later i'm notified that both accounts are flagged and they will be seeing punishments as i'm reading this there was another post in the dm so i went ahead and showed it to my chat since another clown aka zygin was still around griefing yep. i wanted all the griefers to see this as a warning and stop what they're doing unless they really want to get banned i was feeling bad because uh if you lose your classic account I think you lose your retail account too right you live like a bitch you gonna die like a bitch that's the way it goes reported two of the guys i didn't report all of them obviously uh, i don't want people to like lose their account uh-huh but if they want to keep griefing i guess they could get blasted too right yeah if they had their warnings and they continue doing it that's their fault however True. it didn't stop him the little man was streaming the same shit he does every day yep even as a kill counter what a hero Yep. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. You're absolute dog shit. Eviscerate <laughs> into bear form? I think this orc road's fucking awful. And now this is where the soy boy comes in. He uploads a video claiming that no one is banned and Blizzard doesn't give a shit about their community. Yep. Also stating that we've all been debated. What the fuck? Back to Elwyn! He's not banned! I thought he was banned! Okay, Mitch, <laughs> number one, you need to stop giving them the reaction they want. It's I know, yeah, dude, Mitch is just, bro, Mitch goes all in like this. Holy fuck. This is why they love attacking you, because yeah. you react like that. And for clarification, there's multiple of them. Back to L1, Zebra, Hobo, yeah. all these guys, they're different players. Earlier, what did I say to remember? Two players have been flagged. Not all of them. 
Uh huh. I did not want to report everyone. However, the griefers kept going. So there's that. Uh oh. You've never baited me, little Timothy. Now grow a pair and come up with your own name instead of sealing off a VTuber model, you uncreative piece of shit. The only thing oh, you're good yeah, at- Oh yeah, of course that's what they're gonna do. That is making lies and photoshopping your name in. I don't know why you're acting like you're a genius fooling everyone. Uh -huh. Misinformation is the only thing you got out in your shitty content. You desperate little weasel. On the bright side, at least you have my attention. And don't you worry, little Timmy. I'm gonna give you all the attention you deserve. And how miserably you failed to kill me four times with your soy soldiers. <laughs> soy soldiers? <laughs> Okay. Terramus the Devour. Look at that. So you want to see something cool? Holy shit, I know what that means. Holy fuck, I hope you oh. die. Look at him trying to go for You're it, never man. Catching me, bro. Look at him trying to go for it as hard as he can. Oh, we're out, boys. We're out. Wow. But I'm not gonna be able to grief anything. If there's a hunter, let uh -huh. me Yep, I'm leaving. Dude, he's trying so do it. hard. Hurry up and do it, man. Stop stalling. He's trying so hard. Yeah, nice, nice. I'm leaving now. <laughs> all yep. right, come on, bring it over here. And you can come see on. all these guys aren't even like it's not their character. It's just a uh, a copy. It's not a hardcore character. It's just a copy of the uh, of their classic WoW character. Come on, young man. Come on. Hurry up and do it, man. You kind of yep. suck at this. <laughs> Do you do you paint them? Nice, I'm out, bro. Yep. They're not gonna beat me there. He's trying to get a mob before I get here, so he can try to kill me with the mob. But uh, I'm out, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, here he comes, chat. Here he comes again. Dude, he it, look at the uh, look how much of a look how much of a loser, bro. This is like hours, hours. He's just running after him. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Jesus! Round two, baby. Good luck. <laughs> no, he's turning it around. Alright, you yep. do that, I'm gonna do my quest over here, alright? He's trying to get PvP enabled on. Alright, do your thing, man. Do your little feign death. Jesus. Yeah, death. What a fucking now. loser. But we're not gonna die, chat. Wow. Okay, I need one more of each. And I how sad. How de yeah, yeah look how desperate he is. This loser, I'm playing off stream. And he's still on to me. These never kill yep. me, chat. I outplay him too hard. I said nice. You guys are absolute trash at briefing. Streamers have the biggest target in their back. Number yeah, one, you know exactly where I'm at, always. Number two, I stream seven to ten hours. How bad do you have to be to fail every time you come? Maybe next time I see you, I might even lay down on the ground. Or you know what? I'll act like you killed me so you can get a little freebie. It's the least I can do. Give you a little bit of serotonin in your sad life. Some of you guys might be saying I'm going a little far. However, you're wrong. I need to stomp these filthy little rats a bit more. They have a secret hideout in their Discord where all the bottom feeders gather up to stroke yep. their tiny egos. And if you want to be a part of their group, you have to post the evidence, whether it be photos or video. Uh -huh. Once you're in, you get to join in their little circle jerk of bad-mouthing literally everyone that plays well. Especially the people that send in death appeals after getting griefed. They get a huge ego boost saying I did that and makes fun of them for how they look or talk. Oh yeah. It's disgusting. Oh, yeah. I don't have time. Maybe if you didn't get fucking banned. You'd... Yeah, you gotta come to my house and get shot. No, I'm not going anywhere near your house, dude. You're yeah, definitely I wouldn't a sex either, offender. I definitely. Dude, I There's would break no you. There's no way I'm gonna leave Southern California for that. 
<laughs> fucking kill you and rape your body. Your wife's yeah, gotta sure. be fucking brain dead. Yeah, oh my god. Is, you wanna hit her sometimes? Do you think I don't hit her all the time? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, there you, there go. you go. Yeah. I fucking, uh, yeah. Slap her up, dude. Dude, I am the alpha male. You are garbage to me, dude. I've been rank one multiple times. I've been rank one multiple times in arena and fucking battlegrounds. Oh, Dark. bro. Like, it's, it's, it's Savix Roy pulling up his logs. Oh, that does not look good. You were garbage, dude. I will treat dude, you like a redheaded stepchild to slap you. Uh huh. Ooh, Alpha, it's 50 you got banned on Twitch. I don't give a fuck. Send this in. Send this to. What is it, Beetlejuice? What do you think you say it a bunch of times? Everybody's gonna get in trouble. Oh my God! This is a thirty. That's probably a thirty-five-year-old man. Unhinged? Yes, this, these are the kinds of people that you're dealing with. Anybody, <laughs> dude. Yep. Retard, dude. Dude, I fucking said 1,389 times on fucking stream, on Twitch, because I don't give a fucking shit. I actually. <laughs> he's so cool. Oh my god, he's so cool. Bro, he, he, dude. Oh, man. What a straight gangster. Wow. I can't believe how delusional some people are in the comment section. Making a bunch of lies after lies. Someone also claimed that I removed the video. What video did I remove? Please answer that for me. Yeah. I also feel sorry for the people that are cheering them for ruining everyone's experience. A bunch of middle-aged men acting like they're in high school with some frat party shit. Uh-huh. What the fuck is wrong with you? If this was on a PvP realm and you're just simply world PvPing, I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's, that's whatever, right? It's a PvP server, it is what it is. Like, yeah, there's probably a line, but this certainly isn't it. Boy, our little Timmy, I think it's about time you put your mom's credit card down. Stop buying those level 60s to transfer over to an RP realm. How low do you have to be? Like yeah. I said many times, if you want to PvP, go do arenas or RPG. That's yeah, I wonder the why they don't do that. Is. But from what I heard, your heart suck twelve hundred figures. I of also course they are, bro. What do you think? These people are like these super good players? Absolutely not. Couldn't help but uh, watch your garbage grief videos. <laughs> You click all your abilities <laughs> and you're struggling to kill these low levels. Bro, why can't he win? <laughs> Listen, I don't coach players anymore, but I have a keybind guide if you oh, need. Oh god, that's you sad. Watch that. It's a little old, wow. but it'll help you out. Anyways, I'll see you in my chat when Man. you come whining again seeking for my attention. And Zuggin, enjoy your 30 day ban. You fucking deserved it. 30 and days. don't you dare make fun of other people of how much they make. You Bro, know? your parasocial GM, $18 an hour, got my character banned for 30 days. No warning. Camping diplomat. Oh, look at that. That's just too bad. Didn't even have a job. To all the soy soldiers of Timothy, no one got debated. The grief leader played you guys like a fool. So stop spreading your misinformation. Blizz is actually doing their best. For those that are still confused, I'll break it down for you. You've ever been to a circus and a little car pulls up and the clowns keep walking out? That's them. Dark One made a video out of embarrassment of his soy soldiers getting banned and wanted to twist up oh, the story God. by making it as if we've all been debated and none of them are in trouble. Well, Sorry to burst your bubble. The rogue he shows at the end, that's Zygins. The guy I tried to warn instead of getting him flagged. I wasn't trying to- You guys wanna see what he's got to say in my chat? Let's find out. What's his name again? No, uh, oh, Zug, okay, uh, all right, let's see. Yep. Uh, oh, he typed today. Yep, here we go. We got one right here. 
This is the new Diablo. Uh, what's this here? Uh, make a race window. Face is covering someone as a screen. I'm not sure why that racist piece of shit joined Discord. He's not even a griefer. I'd rather him ban Wrath of the Lich King Arena cheaters than this, to be honest. Well, why not both? Like, I agree. I think that they should ban the, the Wrath of the Lich King Arena cheaters, too. You're totally right. I agree with you. Sure. It's just probably, like, it, it, here's the reason why. Is it's probably harder to fight, figure that out than it is whenever you literally have video evidence of somebody griefing. Like, it doesn't take a genius to see a video of some Spurg running some guy down, kiting a dragon to try to get them killed. Like, it, it's so obvious. So that's why it happens. It's, it's way easier to do. No script is Wrath of the Lich King Arena. They don't ban those cheaters. Yeah, but, I mean, that's true. Okay, they should ban those cheaters, too. I have video evidence of them cheating. DQ and Torsten literally stream it. Yeah, but who cares? What does that have to do with Classic WoW? I don't understand. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just confused. Because, like, what, what does that have to do? Because, like, in Classic WoW, like, I, I think that's also bad. Sure. Like, why can't both of them just be bad? It, it doesn't make sense. Just the manpower is going to unofficial hardcore moderation? Well, let's talk about why that is. Well, one of the big reasons is that hardcore gets way more attention than Wrath of the Lich King Arena. Nobody gives a fuck about Wrath of the Lich King Arena. That's because nobody watches it. Nobody cares. So why would Blizzard invest a ton of resources into a mode of the game that nobody cares about? And also, like, having a community of people that you agree? Okay, thank you. Um, having a community of people that are actively going out and harassing other players is worse than cheating in the game. Because the reason why it's worse is because it expands beyond the game. So now you have a video game that is the, it, it creates harassment that expands out from the game. So it's actually substantially worse to go and grief people and like have all, all stuff that. When I've been on blood sale for about two weeks. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying like this is, this is why it's bad. Everyone to get banned. Just wanted to make an example of those two so that people can stop griefing. Yeah. Yet after seeing these guys continue, even with the warning, and doing all those nasty shit in their little discord. I take that all back. Send these clowns to the gulag. <laughs> Last message for the soy soldiers saying that they're not coming on streams or sniping right now. And that they're laying low in the game. Shut the fuck up. We all know Dork1 is on his knees begging his mother for another WoW subscription. <laughs> He's probably leveling another character as we speak so that he can act like nothing happened. Yeah. Anyways, keep making your fake videos with fake images. No one's gonna buy that shit anymore. Now if you excuse me. What's this? Hello? What's up? Hello? McConnell, this is the leader of the hardcore griefing community. Okay, starting out with some clicking. Okay, very good. Holy shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> look at him spam <laughs> Look at him spamming it. Oh my, what's he doing, dude? Holy shit. Oh, no. <laughs> People thought Blizzard would actually oh, care God. about their players. They do, you buffoon. They Bigger sure plot do. Than in yeah, wait till you see my video, Roy. You're gonna feel real smart, huh? Yeah. Married a crazy chicken lady says, Imagine a company that caters to streamers. You don't have to. It looks like that's what's happening. Are you a fucking imbecile? Like, how stupid are you? These you have to understand that classic WoW players. These are people who got filtered by Old War. A lot of them are. So, like, you have, like, a, uh, you know, the evolutionary table. And they're a little bit below a gorilla. Guys are harassing players on a daily base, mm -hmm. not only streamers. Imagine how boring hardcore would be if it wasn't for griefers. Roar Veslan, I hope you step on Legos. Last picture was a masterpiece. Yep. You're the one consuming shit and lies. This is honestly one of the most masterful trolls. 
dude, it's not hard getting people killed. To me, I wouldn't have really cared. Like, I'll be honest. If Blizzard doesn't care about this, then that's completely fine with me. If Blizzard says, you know what, we're going to be completely hands-off with this classic WoW stuff. If you want to grief people, go ahead and grief people. That's totally okay. I'm just not going to play. Yeah, I just, I just, I just don't want to, I don't want to play. Like, I, I don't want to deal with that. It's just annoying and, and weird. So, like, why would I want to do it? They haven't broken any rules. Do you think rules, griefers have a layer they? of content? No. <sighs> Social contract. Best bait of century, dude. The only guy Man. that got baited are all of you clowns in here typing. Yeah. And Mitch Jones. True. True. <laughs> true. Anyways, I'm out. All right, I'm glad I got a chance to see that. That's funny. Holy shit. Isn't griefing TOS? Why wouldn't Blizzard just ban them? Because they think that they're immune to getting banned. That's really the reason why. Yeah, this is such a good video. Savix is a fucking legend. Oh my god, he is a legend. Yeah, this is so good. Uh, it's one thing to do a drive-by, but camping is toxic. Yeah, I mean, Blizzard rarely power bans paying customers. I, th I I honestly thought the Diplomat was a caveat. I, I don't... I, I mean... If you thought the Diplomat quest was like a free reign to gank somebody, like, I don't even... Why would you think that? Like, there, there's no... Like, logically, I, I just... I don't see, like, the mindset that would lead you to that conclusion. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, Savix is a legend. And I, I again, uh, Blizzard has is, is said, uh, you know, they've said they don't appeal it and it's a PvP flagged quest. Um, They don't appeal it. Oh, oh, they don't appeal it. Um, Well, I mean, like, I, I wouldn't really use that as an example of it being okay because that's a decision that's made by a third party and not Blizzard. And if it's a PvP flagged quest, there's a lot of things that are bugs in the game or things that you can do in the game. But whenever a person takes advantage of them, they can get in trouble. Uh, things like holding lockouts hostage. This was a big thing back in the day before it was changed. Uh, things like naming your character something that's bad. For example, the N-word spelled backwards in your case. Um, you know, a lot of things like that. Like, you can do them in the game, and you can do them, sure, absolutely. However, however, you get in trouble if you do them. So it just doesn't make sense. Why are people playing mental gymnastics with this topic still? Uh, I mean, the reason why is because they are... I, I, I think there's a lot of reasons why. Yeah, it makes it makes them feel like they have power over somebody. And these are people that are generally in like a position in life where they don't have power over anything in their life. Right? Literally nothing in their life is going well. They're total losers. They'll always be losers, but the one thing that they can do is they can go into this game and they can like harass somebody and annoy them. And like maybe they can get a reaction and they can be like, Yes, I'm better than you here. I can beat you. This is my realm. That's what it is. You did it for years? Yeah, that's how I know. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, how, that's how I know. That's my whole point. It's the same mentality as bull, bully at, at school, as home life is shit? For a lot of them, yeah. Why is that always the assumption? It can't be because they find it funny to make other people mad? Oh, yeah. It, definitely, that's another reason. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But I think it's like, I think that people that do it a lot, probably it, it goes beyond that. And also, it doesn't even really matter, like, why somebody does something. Who cares why somebody does it? It doesn't really matter, does it? I don't think so. Let's see here. Uh, fuck, let me look at the rest of these. Uh, yeah, but you're a psycho if you find happiness in that. Well, I don't really care what somebody does for fun or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if a GM warned me, I would have immediately stopped. Well, and, and this is my whole fucking point. And, and actually, like, this guy, thank you for saying that. Because this is one thing I've been trying to go after and say for, like, a week now, two weeks now. Is that the reason why people grief is because they don't think they'll get banned. If griefers knew that they would get banned, they wouldn't grief. 
its consequences. And you would still have a handful of griefers. You would. You would absolutely have a handful of griefers. But the percentage of them will go down by like 95%. And then the remaining five would get banned immediately because Blizzard wouldn't have to deal with the other 95 to begin with. You see what I'm saying? It just makes sense. Uh, it's almost like TOS says, break these rules and you shall be banned. That doesn't sound like a warning. Well, I mean, I think that they have to make a decision off of that. I mean, again, it's very obvious whenever a person is griefing. And I don't think that they should, like, immediately issue permas. I think that's probably a bit too harsh. But, like, a six-month suspension, I think, could be fair. That's fine. Especially after it's, like, a person's been doing it a number, a number of times, right? 30 days was lenient. Yeah, I think 30 days is, is very fair. Because, like, again, you need to... The, the, the problem is, like, you can... You, if you treat people like children, they'll act like children. But if you treat people like adults, then they'll act like adults. And what I think happens is that a lot of these people are used to being treated like children. And they're used to acting like children and then having people accommodate them. And guess what happens? Then uh, they just, uh, you know, keep acting that way. And that's why in Square Enix's case, it doesn't happen like that at all. In Square Enix, if, they, if something like that happens, you're just immediately fucking gone. You're banned, and they're like, well, no, there's no, you're not going to explain yourself. You're not going to try to convince us out of this. We know what you're doing. Stop it. Because they don't treat people like children. That type of gamer that thinks logic equals truth. Most of the time, I would say like 95% of the time, logic does equal truth. Like, like 99% of the time.